Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to completely transfer your AI website building experience by taking advantage of Bolt.diy. Now you're probably wondering what is Bolt.diy? Well, Bolt.diy is the open source version of Bolt.new. A lot of you probably know what Bolt.new is. It's a very famous AI website builder that uses words to build amazing websites. It's a very good platform. Let's say, for example, build for me a uh, website that shows that support adoption. Just give it a few seconds. This is, and as you can see, sites programming, you have access to all the files. It's a very nice platform for building websites using words. Bam. We have Max with up for adoption three years old. One that's done there, you can search for pets. Very amazing stuff. This all happened with one prompt. I literally did zero reiteration with it. And of course, you can continue to adjust with it. I'm going to turn the button screen. I want to add this section to the website, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to teach you. And actually, before that, I want to show you guys why. I'm going to teach you guys how to transfer into Bolt.diy. The advantage with Bolt.diy, you're able to switch the models. There's much more customization. You're able to push things to GitHub and much, much more. And it's significantly cheaper. As you can see, Bolt.new, $20 a month, which is the lowest subscription. You can barely do anything with these 10 million tokens. And over that, you're paying $20 a month. And you only have access to one model, which is Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Specifically, we're going to be using DeepSeek V3. Now, more on DeepSeek. It's a brand new model that competes with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4.0, which is some of the strongest models we have right now. According to this chart, which is the real sell point, as you can see, it's in the performance price ratio optimum range. And in this chart, this just shows the overall performance in different branches. It performs better than Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4.0, while also costing significantly less. The x-axis represents the cost and the y-axis represents the performance. So the performance is higher than Cloud 3.5 and 4.0, and it costs significantly, significantly less. As you can see, it's in the performance price ratio optimum range. And in this chart, this just shows the overall performance in different branches, such as mathematics, science, and most importantly for this scenario, coding in code forces performs significantly better than both 4.0 and Claude, and also some of the local open source models that came out recently, like Quen and Llama, which are also very powerful open source models. I would like to state that even though DeepSeek is an open source model, it would be impossible for you to run it locally on your machine. Even if you have like 940, 90s, you still wouldn't be able to run this model efficiently on your computer. So for now, we're going to have to stick to using the cloud version of this model. Now I'm going to show you guys how to set up Bolt.diy on your computer. First, I would like you guys to go to studio.automator.ai slash agent slash two. Um, I want you guys to do this because although I'm going to show you guys how to do this step by step, and I've done it many times before, I know that many of you will run into some problems and obviously I won't be right there to help you. I've used this before and it's very good at troubleshooting the problems that I've run into before. And it shows you step by step how to install Bolt on DIY. And so I just wanted to promote this AI agent, which is made by this amazing YouTuber called Ahmedin who actually created Bolt.diy from scratch by himself. He has a very amazing channel where he delves into various topics in the world of AI. Anyways, first you would want to click on this, how do I install Bolt.diy? And we're going to follow the steps together. First of all, let me close this and this, as you can see now it won't work because I want to set this up with you guys. This shows up the exact same way every single time because this AI agent has been pre-trained on the Bolt.diy docs. So first you're gonna have to download git and mil.js. I have both of them on my computer. All you need to do is just go to these links, install them on your computer, nothing too crazy, very simple. Now we're gonna install PNPM. This is a package manager. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go to CMD. It's very important you run it as administrator else it wouldn't work. 
platform and it showed us this uh, so this disable on this machine to enable it now this is where this ai agent comes in handy we're going to put this here and we're going to show it the error and it's going to help us so it's telling us to install this using that this is an alternative method now we're going to go like that and boom it's working now so this is the advantage to using this ai agent um, I already have it installed, so it went very quickly. But for you guys, it may take a second. Now, uh, once you're done with that, you're going to clone the repository. I also have done this before. It says it already exists, but for you guys, it's going to start installing. Once it's installed, um, we are going to go to your files. You're going to put this bolt, bolt on DIY and boom. You are inside. And then once you're inside, you're going to have to rename your .env.local. I have already done that trick here. Inside of this folder, you're going to see a bunch of API keys. You're going to see OpenAI, Claude. There's going to be a bunch of API keys. Just fill the ones that you want and delete the rest. But before deleting them, I would suggest you copy the original one, paste it into somewhere else into your computer, change it to a .txt file or whatever, and just keep it in your computer. So one day, if you want to go back and see the list of API keys that you could plug into this .env file, you could do that. And the one that's going to be in your folder, just put only the ones that you want inside of them. That is what I would recommend. Once you have put your API key, which you will be able to get from the deepseek.com website, then you're going to click access API. Once you are here, you're going to have to top it up. You can put $2, $1, $5, but this model is extremely cheap, which is why it's gaining mass adoption and why people are talking about it a lot recently. Once you have topped your account up, you're going to go to API keys, create new account, all.diy to, so you're going to copy this, you're going to go here, you're going to paste, and you're just going to close, you're done, that's done, let's go back and see what the next step is, install independencies, okay, you're going to, you're going to go back to your command prompt, you're going to install this, Ah, the reason this isn't running is that there is a step that they missed. You're going to have to put this, which essentially just lets you operate inside of the bolt.diy file. You're going to have to put cd space bolt.diy. Now, once you do that, now you can install the dependencies. It's already up to date, but I'm just curious. If I pasted this in here, what would they tell me to do? I'm, I'm going to look at it from a perspective of someone who's doing this by himself and runs into an issue. Will it tell him? Yep. It tells us right here, CD path to DIY. So look guys, it's able to troubleshoot nearly every single problem that you may run into while setting this up, which is very, very good. Anyways, back to this, once you install the independencies which I already have all you have to do now is run it it's gonna start running and boom you're gonna paste this in this is the link now as you can see we have a lot of models these are some of the models that are pre-applied. For example, if you want to use Anthropic, you don't actually need to put it in the .env file, even though it is better if you do it, so you don't need to keep doing it every single time. You could technically just put your API key right here. And that's also the same thing for DeepSeek, but I just suggest you do the method provided in the documents. Anyways, you can select DeepSeek. You don't need to put anything here since we already did it in the .env file. You're going to put deep seat coder and now we start building the website let's let's give it the exact same prompt we gave to alt.mu 
and see what it comes up with. Let's see how it compares. You can start coding, building all the files. Remember guys, this is very, very cheap, much more customizable. As you can see, you have much more options. We have sync files, tugged and uh, push to GitHub. There's just many, many things you can do here. Okay, we did run into an issue here. It did not work. Boom, right here. We have everything that's available for adoption. Um, I'm pretty sure because this is an open source model, it doesn't have access to any images. We can further iterate on this. Can you look at a search bar to make it easier to find that that I want. Remember guys, this model is not costing me much at all. I've been using it all day and I've only spent 0 0.01. Here we have, a, for example, body. It also filters dog. So if I put dog, it puts that. If I put, if I put bull, bulldog, it filters to that. But if I put two years, that doesn't. Can you? Also, make the search bar search by age. Let's see if it's able to understand what that means. No, three years old, two years old. So it's actually listening to my prompt very, very well, and it's abiding by exactly what I wanted to do. Moved to the website more modern. The website is looking a bit boring right now. Let's see what it can do with it. Dog, cat, dog, dog. So it's like marking down. It added a little search icon here. It was very, very good stuff. It added a little animation when you hover over it. Okay, guys, I think this is a pretty good representation on what Baltpot DIY and DeepC can do together. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on this video and also consider subscribing. And tell me in the comments what else you would like me to do a video on. This is my first video, so you liking and subscribing is really going to help me grow this channel to where I want it to be. If you are interested in AI agents, LLMs, the best AI tools, you are in the right place. I'm really trying to build something special here. There's a brand new school community coming soon for building AI agents. There's my AI automation agency coming soon where I'm going to help businesses build AI solutions and much, much more. I'm really trying to create a mark in the space. Again, drop a sub and join me on this journey. Thank you. Peace.